So, tell me, what can you even buy for 30 bucks? Anything, right? But trust me, I doubt you would think of what I did. That's right, meet this old PC I managed to snatch for just $30 at the local market. Old, ugly, loud, but with a big heart and some heightened potential. God, just look at this ancient beast. My mission is very simple, to turn this piece of junk into a gaming beast that can handle most games, but before, let's take a look at what's inside. Here we've got some no-name 400 watt power supply. Yeah, right, I bet it barely pushes 250. Oh my gosh, what's this? A single stick of RAM, blads, you gotta be kidding me. An ugly green Acer motherboard. Man, this thing looks ugly as hell. And of course, no graphics card, but at least there is a slot for one. Not much, but hey, it's something. Luckily, there is at least an SSD. Looks like the previous owner tried to keep it alive somehow. Well, thanks for that, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? We've got Windows 10, 4 gigs of RAM, and the Intel Core i5-2400. For 30 bucks, that's actually not too bad. Honestly, I was kinda surprised. And no, not by the fact that this PC is little trash, but by the fact that it still had all the old files from the previous owner. When I first tried to boot it up, I was greeted with tons of ads and some crappy antivirus. I have no idea why he even installed it. Windows 10 already has its own built-in antivirus. I never understood people like that. There were also a bunch of useless programs in the startup, but hey, after seeing that crappy antivirus, I wasn't shocked anymore. What did surprise me though, was that on this ancient hardware, the guy somehow managed to install CapCut and they even do some video editing. Look, there are even old projects left behind. Judging by the thumbnails, he was editing food videos. Maybe he was filming for himself. Maybe he was just an editor for someone else. Who knows? Of course, I tried to open them, but yeah, no luck. The source files were missing. Oh, and guess what? He also had Photoshop installed. I mean, seriously, CapCut and the Photoshop at the same time on this relic? It's a miracle the whole thing didn't explode. Oh! Of course, this PC had a ton of junk on it. A lot of useless apps like crappy antivirus. So I thought, ah, right, let's just reinstall Windows 10 from scratch. Should be easy, right? Oh, blad, I was wrong. Every time I tried tried reinstalling Windows, the PC just froze on a black screen. I waited one hour, two hours, three hours. I even left it running while I went outside. But nope, it didn't care at all. Never before have I been in such pain. So I gave up. Decided to do a clean install of Windows from USB. But guess what? Even that didn't help. The system was so painfully slow, it was insane. So yeah, time to reveal my cards. This PC needs more power. No other way around it. Alright, early in this video, I mentioned it only had a single 4 GB stick of RAM. And worst of all, it was running in single channel. For those who don't know, single channel RAM can drop your FPS by 10 or 20%. That's terrible. Okay guys, I'll be honest with you, I just couldn't bring myself to throw our little 4 gigs of stick into the trash. I just feel bad. Yeah, I know, it's a total crap, but still, it's better to use this crap than just throw it away. Am I right, my boy? Of course I am right. So, so, on the used market, I found this masterpiece. 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM with the same frequency. Now at least we have dual channel. Different brands, yeah, I know, but both are green and ugly. Okay, at least they look the same. And of course, the graphics cards. Without a GPU, the best we can run is Minecraft. We need something cheap, proven and reliable. And preferably Nvidia. Because let's be honest, old Nvidia cards just age better than AMD. I thought a lot about what to put in here. Our CPU is old, but still decent. So a super powerful GPU would be pointless. That's why I went with the GTX 1050 Ti. The immortal classic of budget gaming. It can still run many modern titles at 1080p low settings. In my opinion, the perfect match for this build. Okay, sure, I get it. Without all those updates, I could have just reinstalled Windows from a flash drive, but it just takes a lot of time. I still wanted to upgrade this PC and judging by the title, I think that was kinda obvious. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to run on 4 gigs of RAM and an i5 2400? Am I some kind of masochist? Okay, second attempt of installing Windows and this time everything went way faster. I decided to go with Windows 10. 
because honestly, I doubt Windows 11 would even run on this thing. And right now, I know some of you would probably say optimization time, but nope, not yet. Let's hold off for a second, because our upgrade journey isn't over. Here guys, let me introduce you to this awesome sleek looking case, the Iracool Wave. And here's the thing, I didn't even buy this case, you could say I got it for free, because it is actually the old case from my main PC. And yeah, today we are throwing this bad boy in there. You see, for me it's not only about performance, I also care about how the PC actually looks. Aesthetics, my friends, are also a very important part of your computer. And yeah, speaking of aesthetics, look at this ugly stock cooler. All dusty and disgusting. So instead, I'll be reusing my old tower cooler. It also cost me nothing, since I already had it lying around. And of course, performance matters too. Do you remember this old ugly ass 400 watt unit power supply? We don't need it. Goodbye, my friend. So instead, I decided to use my old deep cool 600 watt power supply unit. Realistically, it delivers around 400 watt, but for our system, that's more than enough. Bye. Bye. Okay, my boys, for now, technically, all of these upgrades, the case, the tower cooler, and the PCU were completely free for me, since I had them from all the builds. But if I had to buy them on the used market, it would probably cost me around 45 bucks. And of course, guys, let's not forget about storage. 120 gigabyte is basically nothing these days. If I were buying my dream PC and wanted a super fast SSD for a low price, of course, I would definitely check out Orico. These guys make some really solid drives. We are talking up to 7000 megabytes per second. And here's the best parts, my boy. With my links and the promo codes down below, you can get a discount. 10% off on Amazon or even 15% off on Oricos official website. So yup, with those discounts, it is the obvious choice. You will not regret it. Yeah, a 2 gigabyte NVMe SSD from Orico sounds amazing. 2 terabytes would be more than enough for everything. But I completely run out of money. Money. So instead, I slapped in a 300 gigabyte hard drive. Please never do like me. If you have money, just buy DM SSD. It only cost me like three bucks, so not bad. All right, now let's fire up our monster. After all the upgrades and a fresh Windows install, the computer actually boots up instantly. Now finally, it is time to optimization. Okay, first of all, I do is download the latest drivers for our GTX 1050 Ti from Nvidia's official website. Then I set a nice wallpaper, switch windows to dark mode, pick pink as my accent color just for fun, and customize the taskbar the way I like it. Okay, now here's some actually useful information if you are setting up a PC from scratch. Number one, K-Lite Codec Pack lets you open literally any video or photo format. Super handy since Windows cannot do that by default. Number two, WinRAR, so you can open compressed folders. Number three, Microsoft Visual C++, all versions. Trust me, this saves you from tons of program launch errors. Number four, Realtek audio drivers, must have for proper sound. And as a bonus, number five, all versions of DirectX. This way, you can run old classics like GTA San Andreas without issues. After that, I highly recommend uninstalling OneDrive. Honestly, it is super annoying and will just get in your way. And if you want to squeeze out more FPS, here is a must-do step along with installing NVIDIA drivers. Go to Control Panel, set the view to large icons, then open Power Options. From there, switch to High Performance Mode. As a little bonus, you can also tweak the NVIDIA control panel settings, just like shown in the video. Thank you, my bro, for explaining everything. Alright, everything is ready, Windows is fully set up, all the important settings are on, now we can finally start gaming test. I hope you guys are ready to have your minds blown. Remember, before all of this, this PC was poor trash, running even Minecraft on it was just a dream.